fest. Uh, it's a big open air fest and with a thousand thousands of people. But in the past, you played in Mexico in places like the Circo Volador. And there, there are places small and dark. And my, my question is, which kind of stage and which kind of concert do you prefer? These huge and magnificent festivals, all these intimate and dark places for a uh, few fans? I think that both different concert styles have their charm. In summer festivals, we all, most of all love summer, you know. Everybody's relaxed, the weather's nice. And you, on a festival, you often know that the audience is not really 100% um, known for that. So it's more like a challenge trying to convince them of your music and try to convert them to be, become epicens and say like that. And um, when you do a club show, like you said, it's more intimate. You have more contact with uh, the audience. On a festival, the first couple of rows you can see, and after that it becomes like a, a mass. Which is also really cool, and have a totally different vibe. So I like both both sides and also the diversity that we can do both. de disfrutar, que el clima de ayuda, pero que el reto es que sabes que es un festival que no a todo el mundo va a ver a tu banda, entonces hay que tratar de convencerlos, de hacer los fans tuyos dando un buen show y en cambio pues en un espacio más pequeño, el reto es otro porque la gente está ahí, porque son tus fans y bueno, más bien tienes que darles un buen show porque convencerlos ya están. Un par de preguntas más. Well, mine would be the title track because for me it sums up the whole CD, everything that, all the elements that Epica is known for, and I find it's a worthy conclusion of a very epic record. So I would choose the holographic principle. La suma o la como el resumen perfecto de todo el concepto del disco. And uh, it's always hard to pick just one because I think we make albums and not songs. But if I have to pick one, it would be Universal Bed Squad. Same reason, basically. It, to me, it has all the epic ingredients. It's also kind of a longer song. And um, as a guitar player, I really like how I challenge uh, ourselves to go to the max with guitar. So, as Mark already said, for someone. I don't know. Anyway, it's more guitar oriented this album, and uh, that's a, a very good example of uh, how we change that kind of guitar setup for the album. <laughs> tiene todos los elementos y además él como guitarrista se muestra más ahí entonces pues le gusta no la, la canción they, they mentioned already two outstanding tracks so I take another one <laughs> and I take uh, divide and conquer um, also because it uh, it gives me goosebumps every listening and that's always a good good sign but I must say that this time we selected also songs and every song contains at least some parts that give me goosebumps, so I never had that before, that with all the songs, I like them a lot, so it's, it's very hard to pick one. Ah, yeah, yeah, I have an opinion about him. <laughs> He's a quite a crazy guy, but uh, I must say, uh, the last decades and every candidate is, is crazy there in America. So, uh, whoever they pick, yeah, what, what, what's the difference? <laughs> he just takes all the stupid uh, things that comes to his mind, and the other states, they don't say it, but they think it. So it's basically the same. Because Hillary Clinton is not any better. 
opina que, que todos los candidatos son siempre lo mismo, que, que está loco Donald Trump, pero pues que igual todos los candidatos que han tenido los mismos terminan por estar locos y por decir estupideces y que además Hillary Clinton tampoco sería como una diferencia, le parece que todos son los mismos. Bueno.